So we are getting closer now to the Nevada caucus, and early voting begins this Saturday, which is just four days away. And our state's caucus is in just 11 days. That starts on February 22nd. Now, after Iowa had problems with its app, Nevada Democrats are busy trying to figure out a new plan. Orko Manna just spoke with the Nevada State Democratic Party chair and joins us live with what he has learned. Orko. Well, Kirsten and Denise, even though our questions about uh, caucus day are still largely unanswered at this point, we do know some details about how early voting will work. We do know that the plan now is to use paper ballots and then scan the results like a Scantron. Now, registration will happen using Google Forms, and voters will get a registration ID card and a PIN number, and they will enter that into the Google Form. Early voters will still rank between three and five candidates on their ballot. Their top choice that meets the 15% threshold at their precinct is the one that will be counted. Early voting runs from the 15th to the 18th. We also tried getting answers from state party chairman William McCurdy II about the newly announced caucus tool Nevada Democrats plan to use on caucus day. There's still very little known about it. Can you give us any more information about this new caucus tool? So we're really looking forward to uh, rolling out what the next process will be. Uh, as stated, it will be secure, it will be efficient, it will be simple, and most of all, it will be tested and it will be evaluated before that is rolled out to the general public. Again, still not a lot of details. We do know the tool is being described as software loaded onto an iPad. What's also unclear right now is how the early vote will be transmitted into the caucus tool, who exactly is developing the caucus tool, how long it'll be tested, and when volunteers will be trained to use it. Reporting live in Las Vegas tonight, Orko Mana, 8 News Now.